right, everybody. We're back with our final interview for the night. This man needs no introduction. Derek F. Derek F., welcome to the Winner's Circle, my man. Derek and Cody, thank you so much. You guys are my motivation, okay? Y'all help the brother out. Listen, I'm just the black version of you guys, okay? Keep that in mind, all right? Yeah, man. <laughs> I, I, dude, you were such a fun, you're, you're a big personality. I love it. Thank uh you. you were a lot of fun one of my favorite clips of you this season was when you were like breaking it down you're like hands up you're dropping to the ground you're like twerking a little bit i was like big d <laughs> drop it low girl. girl get down there i was, was trying to have fun listen listen i'm not a big competitor like you guys, okay <laughs> so i knew exactly what to do my bad ass knew i better entertain these people i better cook for them make sure they eat good and i better sit here and be a therapist for them this season and then tell them hey i'm a threat y'all need to send me home but y'all still ain't send me home but guess what i'm gonna send y'all asses home and i don't know why they did it i don't get it i literally said it out my mouth multiple times <laughs> i i mean dude you're you're obviously this is you're a ball of energy I mean, being in the house, obviously, everybody's on the outside. Everybody is watching. Yeah. You're micromanaging everything that's said, everything that's done. Of course. But you're fun. Um, your friends were, uh, I just want to say this. It was happening. Your friends did a little thing on Twitter of you. Uh, Derek Sleeps, was it called? Oh. Yeah, he made, they made your profile picture on Twitter of you napping, just so you know. No! Yes. Tell them. Yo, Adam and gonna... Laura. Adam, Adam and Laura, and my son. Oh, Lauren and Adam are done when I get home. They so it happened. Done. We did. We shouted out your podcast too on the Winner Circle because you were yep. always mentioning it. So you know, Thank it's you. all love. It's the always regular, all love. Regular show, baby. Go check it out. That's my brand. I do that. With my best friend Adam. I love him. That's why I do all my silly stuff. At that's where you can really see who I am even more. So you you can't sit here and say, oh, this kid just put it on the act. No, this is me. I will do every damn thing to entertain, okay? Because I love talking, as you can see. Y'all yeah. give me a mic. I'm going to be on y'all show next. Okay? <laughs> hey, man, all right, so let's get down, time. Let's yeah. get down to the meat and potatoes, right? Let's do yeah. it, Cody. Right, let's do question, it, question number one. So first yeah. of all, congratulations getting to the final yeah. two. Um, I got to be honest with you. We were waiting to see if you went to the final two with, with Xavier. What would be your speech? I got to be honest. You didn't. You didn't you you didn't go too far. I was like, I didn't know where you were gonna go with a lot of your your conversations, yeah. but yes, you got no votes. So yes. what what did that feel like? What was that like? I mean, getting to the final two, you can get no votes. Yeah. Whatever. Can you I still be, made it to I the be, final two. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I said it before. I don't owe nobody nothing and they don't owe me nothing. I wasn't expecting any votes because here's the thing. I'm a man of my word. Me and Xavier made that final two on day one. Xavier did a lot and I did a lot. I don't know how the season was at it. I'm only going off of what you guys are asking me questions on, but there was a lot of lying and manipulating and things that I did behind the scenes. I just didn't voice it all the time because, you know, I was more entertaining, but that was a part of my game. Um, but I knew going into that, listen, this man deserves it. Even if I had a damn key, I would have turned it for him and said, mm -hmm. Xavier win. Um, I just knew that I deserve second place. <laughs> I felt like with me putting the cookout together, Xavier coming up with the name, the cookout, us working together, being there emotionally for everyone, scheming and lying and manipulating and, you know, babysitting people. I had to babysit people to make sure they don't have conversations with each other, you know, <laughs> especially when I was a have not, you know, I'm like, oh, wait, Alyssa and Claire's going to bed. Here I go. You know, things that people don't, people don't, probably don't know because they never showed. You know, we I don't know. But the thing about it was that I knew going in there, the jury was already feeling like I was coasting or, you know, I was carried and whatnot. If you think about the greats, you think about Cody and Derek, you guys both had to do your part to get somewhere. You think about Cody and Enzo, they both had to play their part to do something. Cody was more of a competitor. Enzo was more of a social man. You know, you got to think about that me and Xavier had a perfect duo to get where we had to get done but because I wasn't gloating or saying that in my goodbye messages because of the cookout and I was putting people before myself I feel like um the cookout members who left probably felt already you know you're just coasting you're just playing like a friendly game you know you're not really doing much and I'm like baby I must be doing enough to make my ass the second place and take some money to go along with it so I don't know I feel like I did enough but I wasn't expecting to win, and I'm okay with that. I'm not greedy like that. Maybe this is not my season. Maybe I need an all-star season, and then I can come back and win and don't got to worry about nobody else. <laughs> well, I, dude, I love that you're a straight shooter. I mean, that's I all it's got to it. be. That's what that's what we love about you. You're going to be transparent. And yes. that kind of, that's where I want you to clarify for us, because just so you know, you're just getting out. Yes. You said that you started the cookout. We talked to X a little while ago. He said yes. that you kind of went around. We talked to Tiffany as well. She said you went around to everyone. 
Yes. A lot of America thinks that yes. that Tiffany started the cookout. Jesus what do you Christ. what do you say to that? <laughs> Ted, summarize I what, love this guy. Yes, what that summarize, summarize what really went down because c- tell us where you're coming from. This is your opportunity to say, hey, this is yes. where it's really at. Yes. So I'm going to say this, Derek and Cody. I think you guys understand because you did this show. You've been mm-hmm. a part of this. I was more the funny guy. So a lot of things they're going to show is what? Me being funny. True. Yeah. I would say day one, I had about Hannah, Kylan, Xavier, and um Aza already slept in my room where I said, hey guys, and I told each and every single one of them, hey, we're gonna work together. We're not gonna target each other. Let's first say this is gonna be an agreement. If it works out better, we'll make it an alliance because we were all a little bit conscious of we're all African-Americans. Are we really about to sit here and send everybody else home that's not an African-American? But we had to sit down and realize we're just doing exactly what everybody else do because every other season, all the white people work together and they send out sometimes the, the, the minorities, the older people, the, the, the women, you know, so we're, we're not doing nothing wrong. We're just six individuals that want to work together. Um, but that, I would say that first week is when I had that conversation. And then the day we were in the kitchen, it was me, Xavier and Tiffany and Xavier's like, yeah, we got to come up with a name. We got to come up with a name. And I'm like, all right, what should it be? And he's like, you know, maybe the barbecue, the cookout, I'm all the cookout. And we all agree with that. But I put all the individuals together. Now, what happened was <laughs> I almost forgot about Hannah. I almost forgot about Hannah. You know, I was like, oh, Hannah's one of us. Oh, okay. <laughs> <We> <laughs> <saw her. laughs> you know, I almost forgot about Hannah. So Tiffany reminded me, but I already had a conversation with Hannah. It was just one of those things where I forgot. But I put all of them together. Now, think about it. In Big Brother history, what normally happens? We're all going to get together. Pow wow. Woo! Yep. We didn't do that. So yep. it's not, it's going to be hard to sit there and say, well, I didn't really see Big D bring everyone together and do that. I did it one by one, but yep. I didn't need to take, I didn't need to do that powwow because that was the mistake that people make every season. When you see individuals go, what happened? What happened to the damn slaughterhouse? They all slaughter each other because we all disappeared to go upstairs to go have a woo slaughterhouse. And I said, they all going to damn slaughter each other. And I'm going to watch it. And I'm going to make it happen. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, unfortunately, um, I mean, I'm glad that other people said that I did start it. Um, but, you know, the fans are, it is what it is. And you guys you have, to, hey, you have to cover it on the regular degular show, right? Yeah. I'm, oh, you wait, because I'm you about like to that. get them together. They thought I was worse on TV now. I ain't got no filter. Now, I'm at the <laughs> hey, door. You are What's who up? you are. Well, I, yeah. I, I do. I love that. I love that. And obviously, you're going to come out. You're going to know the Big Brother fandom. It is what it is. You yeah. deal with the good. You deal with the bad. Uh, because, because you know I'm from Philly, so I'm oh, from Philly. I know. I don't care about that. I already I know. I already know. <laughs> wrong, wrong one. Wrong. Definitely the wrong one. So, but hey, yes. Listen, it is what it is. D, D, what? Are we on question two? I don't even know. No, we're on <laughs> question three. So, question listen, three. this is your opportunity right here. You know, do you know the question you want to ask it, Code? Yeah, I got the question. Go for it. So. I thought it was hilarious, bro. And I, it made you so much more real how you could just say it in your speech, talking about yourself. You're like, and I knew I couldn't win no damn competition. So yeah. and I loved it. So let me ask you, what yes. competition would you have won if they threw it into the Big Brother house? What were you looking for? What, what were you I looking was looking for? for sandbags and I was looking for strength competition. Now look at my big ass, Derek. You know what it is. Derek, you know. Hey, what, but let me ask you this. You're a fan of the show. When have they had a weightlifting competition in Big Brother? I don't know. Julie did the whole new beginnings. I thought Julie was going to throw some new damn fucking cops up in here. And she did some shit for me. And I'm like, damn, what? Where, where's the heavy stuff? Because I know I would have bodied all those dudes. I flipped 530 pounds and 550 I saw that. I thought we were going to do something where it's like, put a bucket of water above your head and see how long you can hold it. Like I was waiting for some stuff like that. But every time I walked out there, I'm like, I gotta put this damn tutu on, spin around and you expect me to be okay. I am hyper ventilating, baby. I can't even breathe. I (laughs) will say, go ahead, Cody. I was going to say, say I will say, I will say that the egg competition was one I should have won. I was so close. And I know you guys felt it because I was like, Fuck. You know, I yeah. said it loudly so the whole world can hear it. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I don't know if I'm allowed to curse, but I, I don't like, know either, but we're live, so we're live. So we're rolling. So um, D, what were you D, what were you gonna say? No, I was just gonna say two quick questions, and I wanna yeah. give you an opportunity to explain it because this is yeah. what it's about, right? We're gonna yeah. go one tough one, one positive one. All right, let's do okay? it. 
you were very critical of Tiffany this year. You wanted yeah. her out really, really bad. Yes, I did. And you were critical of Aza. And even from the beginning, you were really gun ho about guys working together. What was that for you? Because some people took it as Derek F don't want to work with the women other than Aza. But what was it for you? Here's your chance to explain, you know, because you definitely, you you were very honest about it. You wanted yes, Tiffany gone weeks ago. So here's your opportunity. Lay it on them because they're listening right now. Absolutely. So let me explain this. I am gay. Okay. So I love the women. If the women would have beat me, I would have loved that. I was all about the women. But here's the prop. Here's the thing. Xavier put in a lot of work. I put in a lot of work. Kylan did put in a lot of work. And we were able to cross those dots of what we done. And we were able to say, yo, you did a lot. I did a lot. The girls were already making moves to make sure they get the guys out. But guess what? Guess who they said it in front of? The gay one. Hey girl, let's have gay talk. Girl, yeah. They already said it. So I'm going to be like, oh, I have a final two with Xavier and um, I do like Kyla. So I knew that I was like, you know what? I'm going to put these two together because they're winning the most comps. Then out of nowhere, the girls start winning because you have to think about it. Each week I was like, yo, is the girls going to step up and do something? Are they going to step up and win something? Are they... we, we were throwing comps. We were th- mm. Xavier was throwing comps. So, and, and Kyla couldn't play. And then on top of that, I just couldn't win a damn comp to save my life. So <laughs> we're looking at the girls to do some work. And they weren't, but they picked it up towards the end. But you got to think about it. There was so much work. You know how it is when there's so many people in the house. There's so much work that we have to do. So much manipulating. And we were a part of the alliances that the girls weren't even a part of. So we mm-hmm. were doing that work too. It was nothing sexist. It was nothing. First of all, I love women. I I, I literally protect women. If women could have won. I said the girls, if all, I told the girls, y'all should have an all girls alliance. There's only dudes here. I told them that. Um, Mm -hmm. But I feel like um, I wanted Tiffany out because me and Tiffany had bad blood. You know, whatever you're presenting in front of me, I'm going to react to that. You have to understand from week one, me and Tiffany been, you know, clashing. And I felt as though, hey, Tiff, we come from the same background. You're from Detroit. I'm from Philly. Like, we got that type of street mentality. But she took it as because she wanted to put on a persona of, no, I'm not like that. That's not me. And I'm like, girl, you don't got to do that with me. Like, we cool. And it just would not mix. But at the end of the day, we knew we had a business relationship. We knew we were here for a bigger goal. And we were able to work through that. And we also were able to amend. Me and Aza, unfortunately, in the beginning, I, pr- I protected her. We talked a lot of game. We were best of friends. We looked out for each other. But... When we get to the end, to when I need her the most, this girl gonna tell me, I think I'm gonna take Xavier for personal reasons. And I'm like, girl, is it because you're too damn cuddled up with him? What's going on? Cause I mm. sent home the man that I actually like and would have felt like kind of would have had my back. If not, I, we all know how Kylan is, but I sent him home. I was like, what do I look like picking a man over my friend? Mm-hmm. My friend said they ha- that she would have my back no matter what. So when the time for me asking you to have my back, you looking at me like, I just feel like the things that you said just made me feel some type of way. Well, Miss <laughs> Oza, baby, you asked me for the truth, and I'm telling you what I feel. Now, if you want to sit down and us to do resume, resume, we can't do that until we watch this season back, see what they put in here, and then I can sit down and tell you this is what I do. But I can't tell you the date and time and what happened. I can't tell you the times that I babysit. I can't tell you the times I had to lie to Alyssa. I can't tell you the times I had to lie to Cliff. I can't. I can't. It's too much. But I felt mm-hmm. like in the beginning, because I was a part of a lot of social alliances, that was doing more work, delivering the information to Aza and then telling her, hey, you should um, you should make amends with Kylan. Stop saying you want to get him out. He'll take you to final four. Hey, mm-hmm. me and Xavier have a final two, but you should make a final three. So I'm opening the door for her. Why were you telling her that? Why were you because telling? When, so I, that was my biggest question. You guys had the conversation yeah. and Aza is sitting in the room with you and X. She goes... Big D, what would you have done if you won the final HOH? Why can't you just lie or be like, I don't know, make a joke out of it and not answer the question? Cody, brother, let me tell you something. I said it. You muted yourself, Derek. You muted yourself, I think, D. You muted yourself. I I said, sorry, my fault. I said I was going to be honest with Miss Oza. Mm -hmm. And I thought because we have a friendship that she already knows what it is. So when she asked me that question, I was like, 
girl, why are you asking me this question? Knowing the man I have a final two with, I'm not going to go against. That looks stupid because I made that deal with him on week one. Me and you have no deals. We have a friendship. But when she asked me, yes, Cody, should I have lied? Yes. Should I have lied about telling her about the final two? Yes, but she was a friend. So I was mm -hmm. trying to show her. Trying to be straight up. Yeah. Trying to be straight You're up. I'm real. trying to be here for you, but you're going to get the real because guess what? My friends at home, they get the real. Mm -hmm. We from Philly, we tell the real no matter how much it hurts. And then guess what? If it hurts your feelings, I'm sorry. That's how I feel. But guess what? Here's another thing, Cody and Derek. If you didn't see, Xavier and Kylan also felt the same way that mm -hmm. Ozzy was not doing a lot of work. But did I snitch? No. So now I'm taking the heat from, I guess, all the women in America right now. No, no. I thought so. But I'm just saying, I'm taking the heat, but I'm just making it clear. That's well, listen, I want another positive appreciate, note. Appreciate the honesty from you yeah, and the clarity it. on it, honestly. But, let, but let's but let's end it on what's really important because two things can be true. And this was a historic season. And you are part of what Cody and I are now calling the best alliance in Big Brother history. Thank you. You're part Thank of that. You. And you were, you were a factor of that. It took six people to do it and you did it. So Thank you. you take us out. What does this mean to you? You're now part of history as far yeah. as Big Brother's concerned. Yeah. What are you going to take away from this season? You know, what I'm going to take from this season is the memories. Like, you you guys know how that feels. Yes. Um, you know, these guys gave me things to do every day. I knew every day I'm going to wake up and I'm going to entertain these, uh, these motherfuckers because if not, they're going to send my ass home. I ended up on the block multiple times and I knew, hey, I ain't going to go home because they ain't going to send me home. Even when I tell them, send me home. Um, but the things I'm going to remember the most is... Um, just the laughter, the games we came up with. This group of people were so honest about talking about their sexuality, their you know background, what they're into. We were open about everything where no one ever felt. And I've always said that, hey, if you feel offended by something I said, please tell me. And no one ever said that. And I think all these women can say that and men of the house. I made sure to, hey, are, are you okay with me saying this? And I think with this season, being a part of something so big in history is amazing and something that's going to go down in history and something that I'm excited for big brother players to reference in the future where they're like, yo, we should be like the cookout or mm -hmm. Hey, we should be like the, the black ops, you know, the final two, me and, you know, Xavier and Derek, that's what I'm excited for. Just like I referenced the root, you know, mm -hmm. Cody and Enzo and stuff like that, you know, and that's what I'm excited for just to, have that feeling. And I'm going to look at the positive no matter what. It's like family. We showed that with the year we had last year with the Black Lives Matter movement and everything, people have this stigma that Black people want to kill each other, that Black people want to fight each other and things like that. We were able to show that that we could put our differences aside for a bigger cause and show you that we're not always going to fight. We're just family. And the way that we talk to each other might sound aggressive, but that's just how we talk to each other because we talk with passion, but no. we're always going to look out for each other and have each other's back. And we put other people before ourselves. When people come in big brother playing selfish, but we actually thought about somebody else. That's why when I went into that final two, I went in knowing I don't expect a damn key from any of this jury. Cause I told him I was sending them all home. And no, I dude, listen, listen, at the end of the day, you got to be proud of your own game. Yeah. You ended it eloquently. That was a perfect way to end it. Listen, we want to welcome you to the big brother family. Thank you so much. Derek. Back home to your family and friends Thank and uh, enjoy this new life now. Cause you're part of the big brother fandom. So, yeah. Get ready for it. Big now, D, when am I coming I'm, back on the show? Because I got more. Hey, <laughs> we'll, 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 well, I'll be back for sure. I'm going to see and you. You, you, said, you said you do the video game, so I you're going to you. come in. Now, I'm, I'm a big-time gamer, so you step into okay, my world. Okay, Apex, Call of Duty. Call of Duty I don't mess around with. All right, I'll see you, oh, on, the, I'll see look, you on the sticks. I got you. I got you. <laughs> All right, my man. Take All care. Right, we'll talk to All you soon. Right, I love you guys. You guys love are my to Take care, buddy. Thank you so much. Take care.